Hello everyone, welcome back to the workbench. Uh, today we are gonna talk about real-time clocks. I have one right here, it's a DS1307. Uh, the real-time clock keeps time and stores time because it has a, if you see that battery right there, it has a battery backup. Uh, you've probably seen these in computers before. That's how they know the time. Even when you um, turn the computer off, you turn it back on, it accesses the real-time clock, gets the clock, gets the time. Uh, we do have the capability of keeping time on the Arduino without one of these. You could set the system time. Uh, the problems are, number one, it's not super accurate. And the bigger problem is that it loses the time. As soon as you lose power to the Arduino and reset it, the time's gonna reset unless you have one of these. So goal for today is going to be to set the time on this module and read the time using the Arduino and display the current time on this LCD. Uh, we should note that this is an I squared C device and this is an I squared C device. So they will both be operating on just the I squared C pins. These two SCL and SDA pins. If we look at the real time clock, there's SDA and SCL, a ground and VCC. I've actually made a little drawing of it here. At the bottom, there's also a square wave pin. We are going to disregard that for now. We're going to keep it simple. We don't have to use that, so we're not going to. So that is the basic connections or those are the basic connections on the real-time clock they're actually the same connections that are on the LCD I squared C LCD SDA SCL power and ground like that's doesn't get much simpler than that so the first thing I want to do because I'm not real sure I, that may be an address setting there or three two one maybe not First thing we're going to do, we're going to hook this up to the directly to the Arduino, and we're going to find out the address of this I squared C device. Okay, so let's hook this thing up real quick. Uh, I remember that SCL was yellow, and green was SDA, and then over here, ground is purple, VCC is blue. Okay, these around because we're going directly into the board here. There we go. Yep. Ground is purple and VCC is blue. So we have our four connections made. Let's go take a look at the I squared C scanner on the computer and see if we can figure out the address of this device. Okay. I came over to the computer and I just went to the, I just Googled it and ended up on Arduino.cc website. And here's the code, I squared C scanner. I'm just gonna copy this code and then I'm gonna paste it into my IDE here. All right, and then we're going to upload the code. Should work. Uploading and done uploading. Okay, now if we look at our serial monitor, then it's saying I squared C device found that address 0x68. So that's our address. That is our address and I'll go ahead and write it here. 0x68, it's hex of course. Now I don't actually have the real time clock library installed. So we're gonna go to manage libraries and hopefully we can find a good one here. RTC, let's see if we can figure out which one of these should be installing. Uh, DS1307 RTC, that's what we have. Let's try that one. We'll go to file and we'll go to open, no, examples. Examples and we go all the way down here from custom libraries. And here is our DS1307 RTC. There's read test and set time. So let's try set time first. Okay, here is the set time sketch. Let's just see what happens if we upload it. 
Oh, it doesn't like it. Time library.h no such file or directory. Aha. Okay, so we have a dependency here. Uh, so I, I searched time lib or time lib, and here it is. Date and time functions with provisions to synchronize to external time sources like GPS and NTP. This library is often used together with time alarms in DS1307 RTC. All right, perfect. That's what we want. So we'll install that too. Okay, so when I ran this sketch, it actually pulls the time from the system, from the computer here, and sets the real-time clock to that time. So now what we should be able to do is remove power, which I have with a switch right here. Arduino's off now. And uh, let's, let's run the other sketch now. Now that we have our time set, let's try this read test sketch. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay, it's looking like it wants to... It's looking like it's gonna put the time out to the serial monitor. So let's go ahead and run it. Well, you have turn the Arduino back on. And then we'll go ahead and run it or upload it. It is uploaded and then we'll look at the serial monitor again. All right, and it's giving us the time over and over. Looks like once a second, it's updating it. And I'm gonna change the code. So, I mean, this has been too simple so far. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to change the code I want to output to this LCD. So we're going to make connections to connect both LCD and real-time clock to the I squared C bus and we'll display the time on the LCD. Since we're going to have two devices connected up, I'm going to go ahead and use this little mini breadboard thing. I'm going to send a ground over to it right here. And I'm gonna send power to it. Five volts right next to there. Okay, and then we're gonna send SDA over to this little breadboard right here. In blue, and then SCL will be yellow. Give it a little space, a little room to breathe. And give that a little room. There we go. Uh, so now we should just be able to connect our SCL. Our SCL here is the gray one. SCL here is yellow, so that'll go there. That'll go there. And then I need to make real sure I get my power and ground right. Make real sure I get my power and ground right. Okay, my ground is blue and power is green. Okay, and then now we have power to our LCD. And we'll do the same thing with the real-time clock. And power is blue on the real-time clock. And then we'll connect our SCA and SDL I squared C connections here. That should be all the wiring we need to do for this project. Okay, so I've taken their code and I've added the LCD I squared C library, initiated my LCD, and then I went through and did a copy, um, a find and replace Everywhere that it said serial print line or serial write or anything, I did find and replace, replace it with lcd.print. Had to do a few other little formatting things. Uh, but now, as you can see, I've uploaded it and it's working. And that is absolutely correct. And if I actually, um, I'll pull the power. If I remove power, the battery still holds the correct time and date and we can plug in again and we're right back uh, with the correct time and date so yeah this was super simple didn't even use any additional pins since I was already using an LCD 
uh, just taps into the I squared C bus. Very, very easy. I'm going to include a link to this code if you want to use it to play around with. Uh, although you could do the copy and replace thing just like I did using the sketch from the library. But uh, yeah, this was fun and a lot easier than I expected to actually use it. So real-time clock 1307 is working. Thank y'all very much for watching. If y'all want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Bye y'all.